Repairing the 22 mile Morn wall would be daunting enough using modern tools and technology, but a team led by local stonemasons Andrew and Brian Rooney completed the job ahead of schedule using the same techniques their grandfather used when working on the original construction. That included a long hike to work each day. The Morn Wall is such an important feature in the landscape. In fact, local people would say it almost seems to grow out of the landscape. And then for the thousands of walkers that use the Morns, it's hugely important as well. Uh, it's a shelter from the wind, guides them through the hills. Uh, they, they call it the granite handrail. You have a European designated habitat there, Heathland, which is very sensitive to pressure of trampling. So one of the big things was minimizing the use of machinery. These guys were so well versed in traditional techniques and so keen to use the techniques that their forefathers had used. That was a huge start. They had to travel up to six kilometers per day and walk with their tools, sledgehammers, scaffold planks, and all of the provisions for the day up to where they, the repairs were to be carried out. The grandfather worked on it and uh, it was always a very iconic symbol to the Morns. The wall starts wider at the bottom and uh, slopes in to uh, uh, an hour at the top. It's built with two skins. You have a skin on this side and a skin on the back. And every so often you would have a true stone. And this is actually a, the stone that keeps the two skins together. And then at the top you have your capping stone. Well originally this was a, a four year programme of investment. And Rooney Brothers with Gita Construction completed the wall in under two years. Originally it was planned that we would only be working in summer conditions, but the Rooneys, in tribute to them, went through all seasons and all types of weather. It's different than any old building site. A cup of tea at 10 o'clock in the morning on the side of our top of Sleeve Burner on a lovely summer's day is, the tea tastes very special, very special. And the views and scenery and it was, you know, we had some beautiful days up there as well. And even on the bad days, it was still nice to be up there. You were working on very difficult terrains, very steep terrains. Sleeve Berna is probably one of the steepest, and you're talking you're maybe on a 50 to 60 degree slope. It was matching the type of stone. It was splitting it using the old traditional techniques of plug and feather, so that that matched. And then it was a construction of the different bits of wall, which all subtly varied right across the 22 miles expanse. And it was that ability, that familiarity with the stone, the ability to read the stone, that really set the Rooney's apart. Uh, we have people saying to us, look, we've been walking and we don't even know where you have fixed that. You know, when you get it back that there, it's a great thing for us. That was our basically to build the wall back that you wouldn't even knew hardly that we placed that we were there and we got it back to this natural state again. The guys have an ownership of the wall and they know the walls. They have stories from the past of, of their forefathers working on the walls. They still have old tools from their forefathers that they're using today. It's an iconic wall and these are iconic stonemasons. Don't make too many like this anymore.